hey welcome to this microsoft excel video tutorial just some few hours ago the microsoft excel team announced a new feature which allows us to use images and data types in pivot table reports now the new feature is currently flighted to users in the better channel of excel for m365 so when i got the news this morning in my mail and i perform an update i have the new feature on my machine now you need to have this version and build of the better channel now this is the current version 2307 and build 16609 but i have 16619.20000 click to run now let's see this new feature in our pivot table report so i'm going to come here now you can use the image function which is quite neat in excel or you can use data types now i'm going to use the data types for this example so i've got the list of these countries and of course we can see the continent where each of the countries are located so what i'm going to do is i want to pull out the population the area the gdp urban population and the unemployment rate so i'm going to come here i'm going to control shift down arrow key control backspace and i can see this card here so i click on this insert data and of course i can scroll down to p because it is listed in alphabetical order so i can see click on population so i have the population so for the area i click on this insert data i can scroll up i can click on area so we have the areas and for the gross domestic product i can click on this and set for g gdp and that's it and for the urban population i'm going to scroll down to u urban population and finally for now unemployment rate the final at the bottom so you can see um, unemployment rate. So we have the uh, population, the area, and the GDP, urban population, and the unemployment rate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an additional um, column, control shift, you know, plus sign. So I'm going to call this one um, flag. Okay. So now I actually want to pull out the images. I'm going to control shift down arrow key, control backspace, click on this insert card, and then I have to choose the image so i click on this now we can see the images are in the cells and that's quite amazing when you scroll down you can see all the images of the country and of course the continent where they came from so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a pivot report on this you know data set now so i'm going to click inside data set just a single cell click on the insert tab and in the tables group tables group i click on pivot table and of course we can actually put it in the existing sheet because we have space to this right so let's dump it in cell j1 and click ok now let's create our pivot table report okay so let me just change this gear icon i love the feed section side by side so this is amazing so what i'm going to do is let's just grab the flags now i'm going to put the flag inside the rows and you can see the flag of the country sorted in ascending order now this is algeria this is angola this is argentina this is uh, australia and so on and so forth. This is Bangladesh and so on and so forth. So I'm going to grab the population and put it in the values area so we can see the population. Now let's further drill down by using the continent. So I'm going to grab the continent and just put it you know, above here so we can see the continent where they belong to. Now let's just do some in-house tidings. I'm going to come to the, um, the design tab and show in tabular form, which is amazing. So we can see the continent in column J and the flag of each of the countries in column K. So um, let's perform some other things. Let's say we actually want to repeat all item labels so we can see it's listed. Now, the beauty of this is that we have the population also in ascending order. We can see this is Zimbabwe, this is Zambia, Uganda, Morocco in order. Now, if you come to the Asian continent, we have the Bangladesh, we have the China, India, Israel, um, and so on and so forth okay so let's just you know play around let's say we want to include the area so i'm going to just grab this and put it below the population so we have the column here some of area some of population and of course if you want to include the gdp you can put it here you can even play around let's say we want to see the percentage of the gdp so i'm going to grab this gdp one more time put it at the bottom here i can come here you can right click you can click on um show values as percentage of grand total 
So when I scroll to the right, we can see the percentage of the grand total, okay? So this is an amazing addition to Excel. So it's quite lovely if we can use images reporting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel because there is a lot to, to come. Bye.